Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Happy. Today is Friday, I guess. I hope you are having a wonderful afternoon. So, I am working on a door swag. Um, we have been, if you watch any of our videos um, over on Facebook, we have been working on um, our door for the flower shop, making it spring and getting it ready. Um, for Easter and spring and so I thought I would make a door swag to hang on our door as you enter the flower shop and so my theme has kind of been carrots and forsythia and um, just kind of Eastery and fun so to make the door swag I have a, um, a bush of forsythia and what I thought I would do is I am going to take this forsythia and I am going to very carefully kind of fluff it up. And so what I'm doing is, is I'm kind of breathing life into it. So take those branches and give it some life. Go ahead and fluff it and give it a little bit of life. When it comes in a box, it comes really flat. So if you'll take those branches and you're going to kind of flare them out, to make them look as if they're actually growing on a bush. Um, and that's going to breathe just a little bit of life right into that bush and make it look kind of like a, you know how at Christmas time, if you have an artificial tree, you'll take those branches and you're gonna kind of flare them out so that it doesn't look so flat. Well, that's exactly what you're gonna do to artificial branches, is kind of flare them out and give them a little bit of life. Now, this is going to hang this way. So, I do need it kind of flat on one side, but the other side, I kind of want it to flare and look as if they were growing on the bush. So, next what I'm going to do, I'm gonna use this as my, my main branch. Next what I'm going to do is I have some artificial greenery here and I think this is to represent um, some eucalyptus. So I am taking this eucalyptus and it's really almost a little bit um, of a foam type material. It does not look um, like a true anything honestly. It just looks faux but it's going to work to give us a little bit of color into our arrangement. Again, I am just going to bend it and flare it out to give us just a little bit of life. So you can tell, see the difference between this branch and this branch? A lot of difference, right? So just take those branches. I think this one's been cut off of already, but that's all right. Go ahead and just kind of bend them and breathe a little bit of life into each one. So I am actually going to do that with three different branches here. Where you're just gonna bend and twist. Just fluff it up. Okay, and be sure to go ahead and take those tags off of them. All right, to add this greenery into this forsythia branch, I'm going to take, I've got some carrots. I wanted to add some carrots to it, so I'm going to use those. I'm going to drop them in this drawer right here. I'm going to take some zip ties. So these are cable ties, and you can purchase these over at Lowe's. You can probably pick some up at Walmart. We use them a whole lot, and so these are 8-inch and they're black in color. You can get them in white and you can kind of get them in a clear color. Um, 800 count at Lowe's. I think I might have spent maybe $20 um, for 800 zip ties and they're wonderful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this greenery kind of on the back. I don't want it to be front and center. So I'm just laying it kind of laying it on the back of that branch. I'm gonna take my cable tie or zip tie and I am just going to attach it to one of the branches of forsythia. I'm going to cut that tie, cut that little tab that's hanging off. I'm going to hold it up and I'm going to find the next place I want to add another piece of that forsythia. So just kind of place it wherever and that's the eucalyptus, not the forsythia. I'm going to just kind of lay it in and remember all of this is on like wire. 
So it can be moved. It doesn't have to be stuck in one place. I'm gonna take my zip tie and I'm just gonna zip tie it right into that forsythia. And then I have one more, one more branch of that greenery. So I'm laying it right in, just right in there. Take another tie. And just go ahead. And be sure they're pretty tight because you don't want them to fall out. And then go ahead and cut that tab. Okay, now I have another lighter colored bush. I think that's gonna look nice. Okay, now I have another lighter colored grass and I thought it might look pretty. And if you'll kind of spread it out, I'm gonna just probably leave it on the bush, kind of spread that out. And I'm just gonna kind of work it down into the center just to give us a little more color into this. So I just kind of worked it throughout the center. Now every bit of this is on a wire, a wire stem, so it'll bend and move as you need it to. I'm gonna zip tie that one into place. So you see, all I really did was I added four branches of greenery into my arrangement, or into my forsythia. Now I'm gonna kind of pull the forsythia up forward because I definitely want it to be um, the main attraction. I want everything else to kind of just be in the background, okay? So there we go. That's what we're gonna call our swag. Cut that tab off. Next, what I'm going to do is I have the cutest carrots. Now, I've had these forever and ever. These are little wooden carrots. I wanna say they likely came from Hobby Lobby years ago, so many years ago, in fact, that we had to repaint them because they had faded to almost be yellow. So I thought what I would do, they were already on this little string um, or on a string similar to it, and we restrung them, I think, with this raffia. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them and kind of lay them down into the center of my arrangement. And I am just going to attach, I love it, <laughs> attach this raffia with that one of those zip ties just up at the top. So remember, all of this can be taken apart. So if you want to, at a later date, change this up, you absolutely can. You're just going to unzip to cut all these zip ties and they will easily come apart. So there's my carrots. And you can see they're just kind of tucked right into that forsythia. All right, to finish it off, I think I'm going to take one of these stems. I'm gonna go ahead, yeah. Take these stems, because I don't need them to be quite this long. I'm gonna take those stems and just, I'm just bending them down, just like that. And I'm gonna zip tie them down, just because they, that's a lot. <laughs> So I'm just going to take another zip tie and I'm going to zip tie all of those stems down. Now you can take your snips and cut them all if you want to. It's not going to hurt anything if you cut them, but I just figured it's just as easy to zip tie them as it would be to cut. Okay, so I just zip tied all of those bulky stems down. And to finish off my arrangement, I am going to tie a green bow. So the ribbons that I have used, so there is our little fun swag. 
So the ribbons that I have been using outside on my um, porch include all green. And so I used, I'm gonna set my zip ties down. I used a green polka dot, a green plaid, and a solid lime green color. I'm gonna start out with my polka dots. I'm just gonna make a loopy bow. And I'm gonna leave some tails because tails are kind of fun coming down in that arrangement. So I'm going to um, take my bow, my ribbon. I always um, have the print facing me. I'm gonna make a loop. I'm gonna twist this ribbon so the polka dots face me. Make a loop, twist, and a loop. So it's three total loops there. I'm gonna cut my ribbon. So there's my first three loops. Next, I'm going to take my solid green and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. A loop, twist, a loop, twist, and a loop. Okay, go ahead and cut. Next, I'm going to use the plaid. Now, you can use any ribbons you want. If you want to use any, if you want to use different um, prints, whatever you'd like, whatever looks good to you, go ahead and do that. Um, ribbon is just a lot of fun to use, and I like to mix and match. And so I really love that this is all in the same green color, but it's just different looking. All of the different ribbons are different. And I like that. So I'm going to take a piece of florist wire and I'm going to tie my bow. And I'm gonna go ahead and fluff that bow. And I'm just taking and pulling those loops to fluff that bow. And then I'm gonna attach this right here to the top of my little swag. And I'm just taking that wire and I'm just twisting it. And then I like to, so there is my finished, finished swag. To finish this off, I love this green because it almost looks at, like it might be the green from the carrots, right? The little um, carrot foliage. So I'm gonna take this ribbon and I like to give it just a little bit of a crimp. Now, you absolutely don't have to do that. I just like to, I don't know why, it just to me finishes it off. And you can always adjust this bow so that your, all your streamers aren't just coming down in front of your little carrots. You can kind of adjust. Like I said, these carrots came from Hobby Lobby years ago. I'm certain that you will be able to find something similar at a craft store, or even if you wanted to hand make your own carrots, you can absolutely do that. But this is a very simple way to make a door swag with just a few branches. Um, honestly, I think it was, the forsythia is one. I did three of this little eucalyptus and then I did one of the grasses. And so that's what five branches or five little bushes of greenery and forsythia, and then a little, a little pick, or you could even do a fun little sign and some ribbon. So see how simple and fun that is? I hope that you like this little tutorial. If you have any questions about how we put things together or how I did this arrangement exactly, don't hesitate to drop that down in the comments below. Guys, thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, remember to subscribe and y'all have a great afternoon.